Let's go to 1 John 4 and 20. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. When you read the Bible, you have to make sure that you place things in context. Because if you don't, you are really going to misunderstand what a passage is truly saying. When the Bible uses particular words, you have to know that or what they are referring to and know. I don't understand everything or I can't interpret everything. Some things perhaps, but not everything. So let's place everything in context. Let's read it in the way that it is meant. And I am not adding words or taking away from the passage at all. I am just telling you what this passage is trying to say. Okay. If anyone say, I love God. Now, you may say, well, it says man here or it says brother here. So, obviously, it applies to men and their brothers. No. <laughs> this is why I was telling you, you have to place things in context. So let's read it for what or the way that it is meant. So if anyone say, I love God and hates someone, that person is a liar. And you may say, why is that? Well, we know that if you don't love someone, you don't love God. When you choose to disobey God, you are showing God that you don't love him. And you may say to me, hey, Kevin, what you are saying is so stupid. I disagree with you because I go to church three times a week and, you know, I read the Bible there, blah, blah, blah. Okay, hold your finger here. And let's go to John 14 and 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, man or woman, he will keep my words. <laughs> and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So what is that saying there? This is telling you, if you choose to disobey God, you are showing him that you don't love him. When you obey God, you are showing him that you love him. <laughs> I am showing you, and you can see it, right? I am not adding or taking away anything, right? Okay, so now we know how you love God. So you can go to church many times a week or one million times a year. If you don't obey God's commandments, you don't love him. Going to church alone is not going to save you. Changing is what is going to save you. Church is great. Go to church. But if you believe that church alone, hey, I can continue to sin and, and as long as I go to church, God is going to overlook my sin and say, hey, you really have been going to church a lot. So because of that, you get to go to heaven. What? <laughs> so you can go to church seven days a week. But if you are choosing not to change, it is all for naught. Because going to church alone is not going to save you. A change has to occur. Occur. 
Okay, let's go to 1 John 4 and 20 again. So, if a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. So, if you hate anyone, man or woman, you are a liar. Because you don't love God. Because you can only love God when you are following his commandments. So, when you don't follow his commandments, you don't love God. When you don't follow his rules, you don't love God. But Kevin, I do love God. No, you don't. Because the Bible says you don't. <laughs> and think about this. Let's say there is people who get abortions, have sex before marriage, curse people out do all of these crazy stuff and go around and tell people that they love God. Imagine if you are telling people that you love God and you are doing all of those crazy things and yes we all are going to make mistakes but what I am speaking about you are planning to sin. You are consistently like planning like hey I am going to do these bad things yes I know that they were bad but hey it is my life I am young whatever else or older I can do whatever I want to do you know live fast die young <laughs> I guess <laughs> I am going to do whatever I want to do so what but you go around and tell people that you love God. Imagine a person, a person that hears you say that. What are they going to think? Like, hey, to be a servant of God or a Christian must not mean anything because these people are doing the same things as I. So why should I change or why should I serve God when they act like me as an atheist? I pray that it makes sense. <clears throat> so don't go out there teaching people. Don't go out there say, singing that you love God when you don't follow his commandments because you are lying. Obviously. People are going to look at your life quicker than they listen to your words. People are going to look at your life quicker than they listen to your words. So your life is a larger ministry than what you say. Sometimes you don't have to say anything to a person. They can get inspired by the way that you live. <laughs> I'm telling you. It is true. Some people came to me or a person came to me and said, like, hey, I watched the way that you live and that makes me want to live for God more or work harder for it. And I am not saying that I am this perfect or this um, mighty man of God that can rain down fire from heaven and, and do all of that stuff there. I am not saying that. To be honest, I am just a basic guy, really, that serves God. That's it. <laughs> Nothing special. Okay. Second part. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? So how can you say that you love God when you never seen him, when you never met him, but you are hating someone that you see either every day or every so often, but you hate that person. How can you say that you love someone that you never saw, but you are hating people that you see? What is your point, Kevin? How can you say that you love God when you are disobeying him? You don't see God, but the people you do see you don't like, or some of them, but you saying that you are going to love someone when you never met him and you are choosing to disobey him. 
hypocrite. Hypocrite. You can't love anyone, or from what the scripture is saying, you can't love God when you choose to disobey him. And if you say that, the Bible is calling you a liar. So it does not matter how you feel about it. Well, Kevin, I feel like I love God and because sometimes, you know, I treat people nice. I don't really do the major sins, you know, I do like the very light sins, you know, <laughs> the light sin. <laughs> I do the light sins, Kevin, you know, the very light sins. And, you know, I treat people right as far as I know, you know. No, God cares about the light sins as much as the heavy sins, as you may say. So, if you are not following God's rules, you don't love God. No matter how many people you feed, no matter whatever, if you are not obeying him, staying out of sin, of course, mistakes are going to happen, of course, but I am speaking of, once again, consistent and willful sin. You know that what you are doing is wrong, but you are saying to yourself, hey, I just got to do me, you know. <laughs> if you are being that way, you love yourself more than you love God. Or, no, you love yourself and not God. Makes sense, right? I pray that it does. God bless.